Hello everyone, welcome to another episode of doityourself.net nuke. In this episode, we're looking at a free module available from codingstaff.com. It's called Subnavigation, and it allows you to create sub vertical subnavigation uh, menu items uh, and place them on the page itself as opposed to being um, a drop down selection off the top level menu item. Subnavigation menu is available free from the coding staff website and you can download it by going to their page and then navigating to dotnet nuke modules sub navigation and then clicking the module version uh, download link so going back to our site what we wanted to achieve here is to create a top level menu item called consulting and then have a vertical slider menu on each of the pages uh, under consulting and put them in the left pane uh, providing um, all the sub menu items so instead of having a drop down selection like these here uh, we would just have the vertical slider menu on the left hand pane so what we've done already just to prepare things a little bit is I have created a sub menu item under consulting called network managed services and then I've created three sub menu items under network managed services called professional services, disaster recovery planning, and asset management. So what we're going to do now is create one again one sub menu item under consulting, and then we'll add a few more uh, sub menu items under that just so you can see the process. So from here, we'll click on Add New Page, and let's just call this Network monitoring services and we're gonna for each of the sub menu items you want to make sure that you do not check include in menu and you can see here that we have it being a uh, its parent page is going to be consulting but unfortunately it doesn't show so we're just going to insert it after consulting and then I'll show you how to fix the problem with this afterwards so you can see here we have consulting and we have network monitoring services, but unfortunately it doesn't show up as a sub menu item under consulting. So the way we fix that is we just click on the right arrow here and that moves it to be a sub menu item now under consulting. So you want to make sure it's after consulting and then you click the right arrow to move it as a sub menu item under consulting. So now we're going to leave network monitoring services highlighted and add a new page and we will call this one um, up down state and we're gonna again uncheck include in menu and we kinda have the same problem here where we don't have that menu item available to us so we're just gonna leave the parent page to be consulting and then I'm gonna click update and you can see here that it put it as a submenu item under consulting um, but what we need to do is make it a submenu item under network monitoring services so again to correct that just click on the right arrow all right I'm gonna try something a little bit different I'm gonna highlight consulting here and click the plus and we'll just call this one interface uh, utilization and we want the parent page okay so as long as you don't have that parent page selected when you're going to add a new page then you should be able to select the parent page uh, as it will show in the menu so uh, instead of going back and correcting it each time just make sure that you don't have that menu item selected so I want to add it to network monitoring services as a sub menu item of that so I made sure this time not to select network monitoring services I went and selected uh, something else like uh, you could even select the, the home page or something but then that gives you the option in that drop down menu and I don't know why it doesn't work the other way but we'll click update and I think yeah now that that looks right now so again I'll just go back and select consulting I'll hit plus uh, the page name uh, we'll just call this one SNMP 
monitored services. I guess that's another network monitoring service. Uncheck included menu. And again, our parent page is going to be network monitoring services. Oh, and for all of these, I haven't been doing this, but you want to make sure that you click all users as far as the view settings go. So let's just make sure that I've got view settings for these. Oops. Okay, so that's uh, at least those are set to all users. So now what we want to do is we want to add the sub navigation module to each one of the pages that we created. So it's quite a bit. And if you haven't created a lot of pages, you do have the option of adding the module and then having it uh, go to all of the pages. Um, there's an option to say show these on all the pages. Unfortunately, uh, what I've noticed is that it added it to all of the admin pages as well, which is what I didn't want it to do. Uh, so to keep it clean, um, you'll just go to your consulting page and then we will select the coding staff sub navigation module. Don't need to give it a title. We'll select our left pane and add the module to the page. And you can see here that it's already showing all of the different submenu items that we've created. So we're going to go into our settings now. And uh, let's just make sure that the sub navigation settings is uh, we have consulting selected as the top level hierarchy. Uh, and then for page settings, I want to turn off the collapse and expand. Uh, don't display the container and turn off the option to print. And then we'll click update. And then what you're going to want to do now is for each one of these pages, go in um, and add that module to the page. So we have it under network managed services. Uh, we have it under professional services. I've already gone ahead and added this. Uh, let me show you. Let's see. I don't know if I have it added to asset management. So what I did to add it to each one of these pages, I clicked up here on add existing module. I selected our consulting page and it populated the modules that are on that page. We selected coding staff sub navigation. Left pane is the pane we're going to put this in and then add module to page. The next thing that we need to do is go into our settings and scroll down to our sub navigation settings and select our top level hierarchy again and click update. So now you can see as we go to each one of these pages and I'm going to go into view mode. As we go into each one of these pages, you just click on the menu item and you can jump around uh, between all the different uh, uh, sub menu items by using the uh, jQuery slider menu that we have here on the left. And this is the menu that's provided free uh, by coding staff. And it's just a uh, slider, sliding menu that's created um, based on all the sub menu items that you have. Uh, but again, if you have a little bit of knowledge of CSS and jQuery or other ways of creating sliding menus, uh, you can go in yourself and create your own menu. You could do that by going into your uh, root folder for your website, go to desktop modules, coding staff, sub navigation, and then view sub navigation is where you would make your modifications. Uh, and then of course, if you had any resource files, you can drop them in here, uh, drop some images in here uh, and you're done. And then you can test it out and see what it looks like. And that's pretty much it to the sub navigation module. Um, it's very clean. I like the uh, option to navigate through the vertical sliding menus on the page as opposed to having a drop down here. Um, and you can customize the look and feel to match your site. Uh, if you have any questions, uh, please post them in the comments section and I would be happy to answer any questions that you have. Thank you very much.